an early Picasso self-portrait and a 3,000-year-old Egyptian lapis lazuli beetle. What do they have in common? This Picasso self-portrait has been examined using complex research systems. But the research instruments don't belong to this museum. They come from all over Europe. Very good news for the museum's conservators. Our museum doesn't have a scientific lab. So when we need to research something, we try to bring a lab to our facilities. We work in partnership with public universities and private companies using different analysis techniques. But this time is even more special. This mobile lab allows us to condense everything we need to research into just one week using four or five different techniques. And that has the great advantage because it allows us to learn a lot more about certain paintings in just one intensive week of research. This mobile lab is part of a European research project. It gives art experts and conservators access to the latest technology to reveal the inner secrets of works of art so they can restore and protect them. New advanced technology allows us to dig really deep into the nature of an art object. We can understand its structure, the evolution of the creative process used by the artist. We can also get new information about when the work of art was created, and all of this with an accuracy we couldn't even begin to imagine before now. But fixed research facilities are often too big to relocate. When they are, it's up to the art to move. At this cultural heritage research centre in Paris, Italian researchers have brought fine examples of 3,000-year-old Egyptian craftsmanship. They want to know where the lapis used to make these ornaments come from and better understand commercial patterns used 30 centuries ago. And they simply cannot find the answers working in isolation in their small national labs. We're physicists specialised in cultural heritage. Thanks to this research platform, we can come here to meet archaeologists, geologists. We sit around a table and discuss things. Everyone brings data from their own field of research and together we come up with new clues to solve scientific issues. In this case, we're trying to work out where this lapis lazuli comes from. The objects are put on a unique particle accelerator devoted to studying works of art. The French hosts need to ensure everything is ready for when the European colleagues arrive. Hosting European researchers means that they travel here with their works of art. Sometimes the transportation prices and cost of insurance are breathtaking. So we, as host institutions, can't let anything go wrong. We can't afford to start organising such a huge effort not to deliver because of a technical failure. Apart from fixed and mobile research facilities, this common effort gives art experts valuable access to a huge database of thousands of works of art throughout Europe. <laughs>